everyone, today I'm talking about medical terminology quizzes and how to study for them or even basic vocabulary quizzes, even if it doesn't have to do with medical terms. Um, I'm sitting on the ground because I don't have my chair, it's at Nate's house, and excuse the mess in the background, Charles, my puppy, threw up on my bed, my white bedspread, so I'm a little frantic. I'm going to clean that right after this video. I just wanted to film and upload and edit before anything because that takes a long time. But anyways, I wanted to talk about the quizzes of medical terminology and vocab. So typically my quizzes are on Wednesdays. So I kind of have a regimen down where I will start looking at the terms on Fridays. Even if I'm just watching TV or something, I will start with number one, transferring from the book to notebook paper. And so for someone else, it might be best to do it online or like you know digitally and I have an app on my phone called study blue I've never used it but I know people make flashcards on there so that might be useful for some people so what I do with notebook paper is I write the combining form or prefix or suffix on the very left side of the paper and then on the right side of the paper I write what it means the meaning so I do this so that you can probably see I can fold it in half when I'm doing self-studying. So the first step is transferring to paper or flashcards, whatever's best for you. And then these steps two and three can kind of be mixed up or mixed matched or whatever. So what I usually do next is I have Nate quiz me over the next few days. Um, I've seen a lot of these terms multiple times. That's why I kind of just jump into him quizzing me but it might be best if you've never seen the terms to look over them at least once or twice before you pair with someone. So then next for me, step number three for me, is usually the self-study. So I will fold it in half and try to produce in my mind or out loud what is on the other side. So that really helps um, because I will go by the highlighted ones, which Nate will mark or myself will mark if I keep getting them wrong or I just cannot think of it. After a few times of just talking through them. If I cannot get it still, I'll highlight it so that I know those are the ones to pay attention to. Um, so then step number four already is we actually have to, there's two types of questions on our quizzes. There's ones that are multiple choice where we have to select the right answer. The words are already formed for us and that's pretty easy. But the last part is um, oh, formulating the word yourself. So like Nocturia. I would have to, like she would say, give the term for when you are voluntarily using the restroom at night, like going to the bathroom during the evening, not evening night. Then I would have to produce the term Nocturia. So because I have to produce terms like that, and I may not even have seen one of these before, which I've seen most, but some of them, you know, you're like, how do I put that in a word? Our medical book has words already formed, like just examples. So then what I do the day before or the day of the quiz is go through and write on my sheet next to the combining form or prefix or suffix what a word, what it can be used in, like a real example. So for nephro, of course I had to pick a hard one, nephropatosis is like an example of when it could be used. Or albin, albumin, albinure, albuminuria. So it's just helpful to have an actual example so I can produce that quickly on the quiz. So really that was four steps for me. You can follow them if you think it's a good idea. So first is to translate them to another form that's easier for you to study. Instead of carrying like, we have a really big book for this. I did not want to lug that around. Um, then second and third is self-study or partner study. Just quiz someone or quiz yourself. And then lastly, I like to produce actual words with these terms so that I can pull them out frequently or easily on the test. So if you like this video, please subscribe and I hope you all have a good weekend. Bye.